Well hello everybody and welcome to Chef's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making Perkin Biscuits which are a Scottish biscuit and I found this recipe on uh, the National Trust for Scotland website and I put a link for it uh, below the video as well so you can check that website. And it is a quite traditional biscuit. It has uh, flour and oatmeal and some golden syrup and then some spices as well as the butter and sugar of course. It doesn't take long to make but they're very very tasty and the, the National Trust for Scotland uh, seems to recommend that they're ideal uh, for Christmas time but I think any this time of year particularly as we move into the autumn uh, they would be very good because they've got those nice warming spices. So uh, I have my oven preheating at 160 celsius that's 140 celsius with a fan 320 fahrenheit and i've lined a couple of baking trays with parchment paper now this recipe is likely to make about 60 biscuits so i will probably have to bake in two batches but that's fine and i'll go on to the ingredients and i have uh, 250 grams of plain flour and that's one cup plus two thirds of a cup based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup measure. I have 250 grams, which is two and a half cups plus two tablespoons of rolled oats, which I have blitzed in my processor to make them smaller. Um, the uh, National Trust for Scotland website specifies oatmeal, but it doesn't say what type of oatmeal. So I've made those a bit smaller. I have 150 grams, sorry, 125 grams of uh, butter unsalted, and that is uh, nine tablespoons. I have 180 grams, which is one cup minus one and a half tablespoons of caster sugar. I have 180 grams, which is half a cup uh, of golden syrup, plus just about a teaspoon, which I will squirt in later. I put I did the half a cup measure so you can see that that weighs uh, 175 grams so I need just a little squirt after that. Then I have a teaspoon of ginger, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of mixed spice and a teaspoon of uh, ground cinnamon. I also have one medium egg which would be large in the USA and I have 60 uh, blanched almonds here. You could use uh, almonds which are cut in half but I find the process of cutting them in half breaks half of them. It's, it just takes too long, it's too fiddly. So I'm using whole almonds. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, make the, the biscuit mixture and for that I'm going to use uh, my food processor just because it's quicker and I'm going to um, put the flour in and then I'm going to sprinkle over the baking powder and I'm going to put the sugar in as well and the oatmeal And I'm just going to mix those around to get them combined. And that's got those quite nicely combined, I think. So I'm going to add in the spices and I'll process those a little bit just to get those combined as well. So 
So that's quite good. And I should say you could do this by hand, um, but I find it easier in the processor. And I'm going to put the butter in and I'm going to blitz it until it's a sort of breadcrumb like texture basically. I'll just coat these chunks of butter. And I'll pulse this because um, that has more effect. I'll just check that. And that's quite good. I think most of that butter has been chopped up nicely in the mixture. So then I'm going to turn that out into a larger bowl. And I'm going to mix in any chunks that I see. In fact, I think I'll just give it a stir with the whisk so you can see that it actually breaks up. very easily and then I'm simply going to add in my egg and my uh, golden syrup and I'm going to mix those around I'll just break the, the yolk I'm going to stir it around like this until it all starts clumping together and I can squeeze it into a mass. And so I'll use my hand and just start squeezing that to pull it together. And what we want is that moisture distributed evenly throughout all those dry ingredients. So with the mixture like that I want to divide that into 60 equal pieces which is about 17 and a half grams. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take a little piece and I'm going to put it on the scale So that I can show you about the size we want. So that amount there weighs 17 and a half grams. And I'll, what I would do is 
roll that into a ball of about that size then take an almond and press it on the top like that and then put that on the baking tray and then do the same with the rest of the dough leaving a decent gap in between each one because they will spread as they bake and with two trays filled like that I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for between 10 and 13 minutes until they've spread out as they bake and they colour nicely and then I'll take them out of the oven and allow them to cool down for a couple of minutes on the baking tray so that they firm up then I'll transfer them to a wire rack to cool down I'll bake the remainder and then I'll come back and show you the results. So I baked the Perkin biscuits for uh, 13 minutes and they did spread but they didn't spread as much as I thought they would so I think perhaps I should have flattened them a little bit more before I put them in the oven but anyway they baked and then I used um, a simple uh, spatula when I took them out of the oven just to press the top down to flatten them a little bit and this is what they look like and they baked quite nicely and they're crisp on the outside but they're still a bit soft in the centre so I'll have a taste of one they have that lovely autumnal spicy flavour to them and they do have that nice uh, crispy crunchy texture with just a little bit of chew in the centre very very good indeed I think so I should be making these again but I, I have 60 so they will last a while in an airtight container I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for this video and I'll put a link for it below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking